32-year-old Jenny Webb and her unborn son Braxton are dead. Investigators believe the father of that child, one of their own, a cop, the Una Vista Township police officer Ken Blue, murdered them and staged it to look like a suicide. Now it looks like I killed her. And all I can tell you is I didn't. But what Blue says happened, that he found Jenny with an extension cord around her neck, hanging off the side of her own car, doesn't fit the evidence. Could someone truly have committed suicide in the way she was positioned? No. Um, practically speaking, no. It was quite inconsistent with a suicide attempt. Former Saginaw Medical Examiner Dr. Kanu Varani says Jenny's body had bruising on her hands, arms, face, chest, and neck. And the ligature mark from the electrical cord found around her neck came post-mortem. If she did not commit suicide, how did she die? She died of the suffocation. We call it chokehold. Suffocation from a chokehold. Things were looking even more suspicious for Blue. He was trained in these chokeholds as part of his um, police training, and was in fact uh, a trainer himself. Uh, and interestingly enough, he had his training manual on chokeholds in his police car in the front seat, which was very unusual. Jenny Webb's death is officially ruled a homicide. But there's another bombshell revelation that comes from the autopsy. A seemingly small discovery with a gigantic outcome. When I was processing the victim's clothes, I found the tip to a latex glove. On the inside of the glove tip, my testing indicated the presence of human blood. On the outside, my testing indicated human blood and saliva. DNA testing on the inside came back to show that the blood belonged to Ken Blue. DNA testing on the outside showed mixed stain from Jennifer Webb and Ken Blue. The theory is that she may have bit his finger during the assault, making him bleed all over the crime scene. And bleed all over he did. His blood was found on the extension cord that was wrapped around the roof rails of her vehicle. His blood was found on her clothing. His blood was found in her car. His blood was found in his patrol vehicle and on his uniform. What about his uniform? Blue gave investigators a laundry bag containing the uniform he said he just had on. The uniforms appeared unworn because the creases in both the front and backs of the legs were still crisp, and the shirt smelled fresh. So police searched and found a second uniform stashed under the rear seat of Blue's truck. That one was less pristine. The second uniform, I examined that and found bloodstains on the um, shirt and on the duty pants. The blood stain on those items came back to be Ken Blue's. Didn't he think he was just brilliant? I believe, without a doubt, he thought he was smarter than everybody else and that he was going to be able to get away with this. And the incriminating evidence kept coming in. Several fingerprints were found on Jenny Webb's car, one in blood. This is the print that was on the passenger side of the victim's vehicle on her Pontiac Aztec. It showed this is the print in blood. You can see the, the recurve of the pattern of the fingerprint. However, in below of this recurve shows damage uh, of some sort that was done uh, to uh, the individual's finger. So Officer Blue was fingerprinted. All right, so what's this? This is a fingerprint of, of uh, the suspect, Officer Ken Blue who was fingerprinted seven, a little over seven days um, after the, uh, the incident. This shows his right index finger with the right loop with the recurve and it shows the same similar damage done to the fingerprint ridges um, as the area is on the Pontiac Aztec of the victim. Okay, so the bloody print on her car matches his fingerprint and what's truly identical here is the fact that this finger was somehow injured or wounded. That is correct, yes. And there's even more. Remember the three items found 195 feet from her body? The DNA on the cigarette butt came back to match Ken Blue. The DNA on the necklace charm came back to match Jenny Webb. And the blood spot? That came back to match Jenny Webb, 
Dr. Varani says her nose bled as she was being killed. So what do investigators think happened on that frightful night? We believe they met here, they talked here, and he killed her here. So how do you think he killed her? We think he came up behind her, and he was a big, tall guy, and got in behind her, and using a chokehold, was able to overpower her then because of the marks on his arms, which were, we, there were claw marks in his arms, which indicates she was struggling from and he was behind her. And those three small things, a cigarette butt, something from her necklace, and a drop of her blood, that's how you figured out that this is where he likely killed her? Correct. After he killed her, he loaded her into the back seat of her own vehicle, somewhere right here, and then he drove that vehicle around to where it was later found. Where they say Blue staged the suicide. But how did he do it? I think ultimately what he did was he had her body in the back seat, um, tied the extension cord to her neck, tied the extension cord to the car roof rack, uh, and then in all likelihood just pushed her out. There's no other reason for his blood to be all over the back seat, the back cushion, the door sills. Armed with a search warrant, detectives make some interesting discoveries at Blue's home. What'd you end up finding? Very similar extension cords or identical extension cords to what had been used on her body were in a drawer, um, rolled up, folded up, tied up with a twist tie. There was a obvious space where it looked like there could have been at one time another one of those cords, and there was a twist tie laying there. His computer searches had indicated uh, what's the best way to commit suicide, what's the uh, most painless way uh, to commit suicide, uh, what are the uh, circumstances, uh, so the dynamics surrounding vascular compression, strangulation. Uh, all of these were on his computer searches. It looked like the case against Blue was a lock, but was the evidence all a little too perfect? Coming up, why one person says Officer Blue's being set up. As for all the blood that they found on her body or in her car, my theory would be that somebody put the blood there. But there was one more piece of evidence that could seal Blue's fate, evidence found on the alleged suicide note. 